Hey y'all, welcome back to Amped 3. I'm Insetic. With me again is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And this time we're heading on to the next uh, mountain. We're heading on to Snowbird in Utah. But first I changed up my fit. Hell yeah. Again, yeah. Just gonna be doing that in between, so. All right, once again, the crew left without us to Chile. We got kicked out of it because they think we stole the money and we've gone to Utah now to try and make it all back. Wait, you're gonna make it all back? Yeah, so oh. let's see what awaits us. Okay. Whoa. I felt like a real gamer watching that. Oh, yeah? I mean, did you see that? Have you ever been just treading the slopes and then a radioactive green piece of paper hit you in the face? Yeah. Telling you if you need to make some fast cash, come and do some wild stuff? I mean, I'm not sure I would take that offer from someone who pollutes that badly. Just throwing <laughs> paper all over a mountain? Right. What the heck? Well, so, yeah, we're here at Snowbird, and this is going to be a, a pretty big range, and I've actually, you know, looked up, like, the trail map for Snowbird and how the actual mountain sort of looks, because, like, I've never been there, but again, it's cool seeing, you know, when games use real places, how do they sort of yeah. use it. So this bottom area, the area we start out in, is Wilbur, Wilbur Ridge or so. There is at least a Wilbur lift uh, at huh. the real Snowbird. And, yeah. yeah, kind of a halfway area that sort of goes across one of the mountains that sort of looks like the trails here. Yeah, that's so cool. that's pretty cool. And this is also going to be like, whoa, you could see really far out. Like, from quite a ways out, you could see the bottom of the mountain and where we need to go. Yeah. You know, like, I've seen a little bit of pop in here and there, but not a lot. Like... The game is, again, really good at load optimizing and showing everything, but let's get started here. So, you're looking to join the VD team. Well, dude, normally I would conduct exhaustive testing to see if you meet our stringent snowboarding skill levels. Turns out, I'm short-handed. So, hey, you're hired. I sure hope you're down with that. Here's the deal. We represent the makers of uh, many uh, high-quality consumer products who like to tap into the hip, young, snowboarding enthusiast demographic. Pretty dope, huh? Let's take a look at one of our most ill products. Hers was a world of snow and ice until... Mortality. On the edge between extreme and extraordinary. Mortality. A fallen angel, her name is frozen in time. Mortality. The youthful youngness of youth. She smells fantastic. Hers was a world of snow and ice. Live fast, die young. Leave a nice smelling corpse. Mortality by Necromantic. Okay, here's the deal. You're gonna ride a half sled, half hang glider. You make like the chick in the TV ad, except for the part about getting killed. Burn off, you get two C notes. Love that. That was great. <laughs> that was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, we've got a few more mechanics to learn, or at least w things to ride and such, oh. with our buddy Buck Wad here at Viral Marketing. So yeah, like I said earlier, you can hang glide. It's uh, under the sleds kind of, and it works differently than, you know, the other sleds try to keep you oh on the mountain. God. This one tries to send you out. And it is really nice to, once again, it... Hang glide, you know, and, and see, like, whoa, again, I'm going over this massive area, and it's not like it's having to pop in or deload or whatever. Yeah. Even I'm having though, a hard time figuring out how far away this ring is from... 
Yeah, wow. no, this is... No, it, it, it never feels great. Okay. Once again, it's a cool thing to do on your own if you want to, but when you have to do it for a challenge or so, it feels really half-baked. Yeah. The story of Amped 3. Yeah, well... I'm sure you'll get a comment from someone... Either a lot of comments saying, Oh, I hated these sections, or... This was the best part of the game for me when I was a kid. I used to do this all the time. I mean, this... You know, like, there's no wrong way to play games. Play games how you like. Right, right. And it's do like this mission, want. I've never failed it. It's mm. just always, yeah, again, every single time, the ring, you know, it seems like you go through it way earlier than expected. Yeah. Huh. All right, we got, like, what, 500 bucks? Sorry, so you got that for that sweet ad? I mean, that ad seemed... Yeah. That ad seemed way cooler than what Mortality. Leave a nice-smelling corpse. Wow. Nice work out there. I think you're ready for something a little more, uh, shall we say, off the hizzle? This one pays hella good. 4200 Pesos. Which is roughly, say, 300 bucks American. Let's roll the tape. I made your favorites, honey. Chili Rilenos. Honey, aren't you forgetting something? How am I supposed to eat my Rilenos without the tangy taste of... Cinco de Mayo? Oh, sorry, honey. It's all gone except for the worm. Me gusta! Made mostly with all natural ingredients, be sure to include Cinco de Mayo at your next fiesta. And don't forget to try all our bueno condimentos. Me gusta! This is what you're gonna do, okay? Listen, this is great. Cinco de Mayo's got these promotional piñata balls. They're all loaded with samples, coupons, candy, and whatnot. All you gotta do is hit a bunch of them. Oh, man, I'm wondering... So this is... Your ad now is going to try to appeal to, like, the cool... S sur snowboard crowd? It, it's gonna be off the hizzle. It will... I mean... Well... Bob, okay. I do have a question, though. Uh-huh. Would you love me if I was a worm? No. Or, would you still record Let's Play videos with me if I was a worm? <laughs> no. <laughs> then again, if I was, like, the worm who LP'd, that would be a sick gimmick. That really would. I mean, you'd be world yeah. famous. You'd be worm famous, even. Well, what's up, guys? It's Worm Gaming. Yeah. 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 Worm, worm nerd gaming. Cinco de Mayo, the only Get it? mayo with the worm, uh, and yeah. Cinco de Ketchup and mustard. Uh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, like they had a lot of fun. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. people weren't like sitting there pulling their hair out, thinking like we've got to come up with some wacky idea that will look like we had a lot of fun, but actually, I fucking hate my job. You know. Oh man, I I don't know. That was something. Well, How much did you get for that? Uh, they said three hundred, but on the previous one they said two hundred dollars, and you got five hundred. So it looks like I'm maybe a little more than five hundred here. Okay, so whatever. Yeah. Buck Wad has more for us to do. Is there an explanation at all for why he's like a pig head? Uh. Because this game is wacky. Anyways, right. here's a system that probably should have been mentioned as one of the major things you could do in this game. I was sort of waiting for a challenge to be like, hey, this is a thing you could do, but they don't really do that. You can add objects onto the mountain. Hmm. Yeah, so like, hey, is this spot too boring? Buy a ramp and put it here. Uh, hey, do you need to grind a little longer? Because like the media rail challenges for some reason are a lot harder than any media air challenge, uh, put down a rail before the one you need to grind, and so you have bonus points. It's, it again, this game does it first, I think. Like, before yeah. the Tony Hawk series and later the Skate series would make adding your own objects, you know, parts oh, of their yeah, kind I guess of core. That, yeah. And also, you can add a custom start point, one per, you know, whole mountain range, which okay. is the best thing to do here, because it's like, Oh, I know that they're going to keep being challenges at the bottom of the mountain. I can either, you know, have to spawn at one of the lifts and ride down, or spawn at my custom mm. challenge part. 
So yeah, it is a really cool thing. Once again, I kind of feel the same way I did for interacting with, you know, doing this kind of thing in like Tony Hawk Proving Ground or Ginn and Skate, where I want to ride the levels that the developers have made more than really try to make put your own thing. shit down, you yeah. know, and see what's there or whatever. But again, it's like... It's neat that they have the option, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Sorry. <laughs> I was uh, just finishing my workout. You know, I've been very impressed with your work. Sadly, it's become necessary for me to relocate my business, which will happen tonight, just after dark. In the meantime, hey, I say we go out with a bang. What do you say, Holmes? Here at Fractured Dreams Cosmetic Surgery, we specialized in the treatment of extreme sports injuries for over 15 months. Just look at these before and after photos. So, should you ever find yourself in need of radical facial refurbishing and you're still lucid and or articulate enough to use a telephone, please call us at Fractured Dreams Cosmetic Surgery. Remember, Fractured Dreams Cosmetic Surgery where Humpty Dumpty would have gone if he hadn't been an imaginary character. Okay, here's the deal. These guys want something spectacular and death-defying. So I got a big crowd showing up, and you gotta go all kamikaze on their butts. And I'll be honest, you could die horribly, but you'll get a chill 1,000 clams, and I got a great feeling that you're gonna kill it. Either way, it's been nice knowing you, my brother. You're either gonna kill it or kill yourself. Yeah. Oh. No mobiles, okay. Yeah. Really, you know, try to channel your snow cross to uh -huh. experience. Oh, good, good lord. Bonk, bonk. Oh. Bonk. That was a fascinating trajectory. It's a good thing I'm also an imaginary character. Yeah. Yeah, so, ride the snowmobile through the two trams. This also sucks, um, and it'll take you way too many tries because... Oh! Uh, yeah, you were it, if you up make it through still... the first, you're pretty much gonna, like, crash on the second. It's, it's like, you have to either micromanage or pray to God that you actually make it through both. But, hey, some funny big falls. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, I swear, like, with the whole hang gliding and then, like just riding for a bit to pop mayonnaise samples and then this it's like if someone walked in on you that this is like when you walk in on someone throwing up in the bathroom this is the absolute worst depiction of this game if this was your only depiction yeah of it, you know? maybe yeah like is it like it almost feels like so what is it just like a winter version of the jackass game no i swear there's snowboarding other game here yeah yeah um, yeah, and you can crash there. You just have to make it through the two. In fact, yeah. I've never landed after making yeah, it. Yeah, I'm guessing two. you're not even supposed to. I mean, that looked like a hell of a fall. But all right, we're actually here. Then you need to ride and do challenges. Do you Amazing. think... So, okay, this is a big question for you. You remember uh, America's Fugliest Home Videos? Right. And you I remember America's show. Funniest Home Videos? Right. I don't love that as much as Fugliest, but... So, so in America's Funniest Home Videos, Tom Bergeron would stay... Or Bob Saget, recipes, uh, or whoever the other people were. Um, they would uh, make snarky comments while looking at a... a you know, um, fucking funny videos from, uh, from around America. Right? It's in the title. Right. So, like, do you think there's, like, a market for that, but for gamers? Yeah, yeah I mean, like, like funny there's game so clips. many compilations on YouTube of, like, Twitch fails, gaming fails, right. da, da da But, like, I could just, all I would do is just make a single basic snarky joke about it. Looks yeah. like he's not getting his retirement bonus, and that's, like... I get paid. I, I, I walk. <laughs> right. So it's like ridiculousness, but, but for you're watching fails. gaming fails. Whoa, what just happened? Cha-ching. That's, yeah. that's me yeah. making my money. Exactly. No, I, I think there's definitely a market. 
Okay. Go for it. Maybe we could start doing that. If people want to start emailing me clips, I can. Uh huh. I can get started. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not even gonna like it's. There, I'm not even gonna be selective about my clips. I'll just right, take anything just gonna right now. Line them all up. Yeah, one right after another, and just it's not gonna be like a. Uh, well. Uh, like I don't know. You see some guy like going to you know wipe out a team and in, in Call of Duty or whatever, and then he just gets mowed down instead. And yeah. it's just like audience cheering, audience laughter, and you just say like, "Looks like he, uh, f fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking." Yeah, and then the next <laughs> clip comes. So. I yeah yeah, you could be the host, and I could be like the executive producer. Okay, yeah, I was I didn't want to I didn't want to step in your some, toes, but some I just... way so that if you start making boatloads of money, I yeah, also, also start making boatloads of money. Yeah, I was just concerned that you were gonna say that we needed to like co-host and I feel like it works better if there's just one host and they just say dumb shit you know like right. like I mean like the Call of Duty example maybe it ends with him he blows himself up with a grenade and just like oh he blew it yeah, yeah. Cha -ching. I'm the guy hitting the audience canned laughter yeah. sound effect like over and over and over so just the start of it yeah. keeps ah, going ah, 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 ah. Yeah, yeah yeah like that yeah. I'm really glad that you're like not only on board, but you fully get the idea. Right. Yeah. That's that's why we're a good team. Uh -huh. You know, this is exactly the kind of thing. And like, you know, maybe people if you if you send in a clip, feel free to write the joke for me. That would also be oh, helpful. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know yourself better than anyone else. Yeah, and we'll put you in the writing credits, but we won't pay you. Because right. like. I don't want to have to deal with that. No, yeah. And obviously, you can't be union either. This has to be if you're if you're in a, right, a I mean, comedy so writing union or something. You're you're not allowed to write your own jokes. Right. I mean, it's the wild west of the internet. Are there even any unions? Not for the internet, but I mean, what if they're in like I don't know, like the screenwriters guild or whatever. I swig. Be... I'd be freaking astonished if someone in the Screenwriters Guild recorded a game fail, sent it to us, and then also wrote their own joke. Yeah, they wrote their own joke, and they're a big fan, but they were also, like, the head writer on Community or something. And right. Yeah. Now all they do is send in clips to the, the small YouTube, small two YouTubers. And, yeah. Hey, That's my dream, I guess. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I... Oh, it, we always wanted to break into the entertainment industry. We just did nothing to actually do so. Attempt you know? it, yeah. Right. Yeah, we we wished that luck would just fall in our laps. That's it. That's the end of the story. Right. Yeah. Get the sled out. High impact. How much respect do you earn from each of these things? Um, like, uh... Yeah, a few hundred for bronze, more oh, for okay. silver, more for gold. I I was concerned it'd be like 25 for bronze, 50 for silver. No, I'm, no, yeah. no, no. Once okay. again, this game is calibrated well. You know, you okay. can get bronze on like everything and, and make it through just fine. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah. I've, oh my god, playing around more with these kitty cleanup challenges, I swear to god, every time you need to jump, and, you know, there's, like, collectibles in the air, mm. I feel like it's calibrated so that you're never supposed to, like, hold the jump button and wind up at all. Like, you're always supposed oh. to just tap the jump button and do a very minor jump, and that always seems to be the really, path. That's really weird. Oh, and I've also... I, I said in the previous batch of videos that sometimes jumping felt sticky. Mm -hmm. Again, playing around more, I, I know what I'm running into now, which is that, again, this game really likes to hold your hand. And so that sometimes when you're coming up to a ramp and you're holding down the jump button and you release it before, like, the top of the ramp, mm -hmm. the game will actually make your character wait and jump at the very top of the ramp. Oh. Like, it is actually calibrated to not really let you jump early on certain things like definite ramps. 
Meow. Which again, I guess is good if you're like five years old and yeah. you, know, you need to get all the airtime. But feels very weird. Yeah, that feels like if the game was released today, that would be a toggleable option in the settings. Right. Accessibility settings and all of that. Well, I guess I should say if the game was made today and also competently made, because there's also the possibility if the game was made today, they would half finish the game and release it and then just kind of try to patch things up later. Right. No. No shade meant to developers who have to do that because of publishers, but that's just kind of how it goes. Oh, you're doing the whirlwind. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm waiting for a fail so that I can... Maybe if you want to start including fails in your videos, uh, I can... Did, did you just see that kitty cleanup attempt? Those no, I fails. mean... Okay, well... I might fail this. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, so you're... Are you in a box or a couch? I'm on a... I'm on like a love seat. Okay. Wow. Uh, he got a... Any better. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, God damn know. it. Maybe you should be the... <laughs> to the rider. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, these low rider challenges are weird because all you need to do is get through the gates. Like, it's a pass or fail. Hmm. And, and so it's like, what? Hmm. That seems really easy. You don't have to, like, try and do it fast. No. <laughs> but again, the sledding physics are so bad. You're that, gonna uh, do it fast. That you're gonna do it fast, and also you are going to accidentally miss gates. Yeah. But yeah, I mean... And no, I don't know if there's a huge difference between all the different sleds, you know, like, oh, I'm riding a chair, oh, I'm riding a mattress. Mm. Uh, I guess, once again, it is kind of entertaining that they put all of these in. Yeah. But once again, it's like, the hang glider is really cool and lets you do something completely different. All the other sleds are just there, I guess, if you think it's really funny to ride down the mountain in a love seat. Yeah. Hey, baby, I thought that was you. Hey, it's the Roman. What's happening, brother? Mostly chilling, except for this broken arm. I can't really do any photography work. Plus, I gotta hang out till I get this cast off, so all my boys went to Chile without me. Well, that's a coincidence. My crew went to Chile without me. So what are you doing here? Uh, someone set me up. I gotta come up with a lot of cash. I know they're hiring over at Ski Patrol HQ. And I might be able to find you some work poaching footage, too. Let me ask around. I'll get back to you. The Roman is on it, baby. I like that Roman was like, hey, what are you doing here, then? And your character struggled to summarize why he's here. <laughs> hey, it, but it's Roman. Everyone knows Roman. Roman, my, my cousin. Yeah. Ha ha. Where We've you been, We've always dude? known Roman. Yeah. Our best Ugh. friend from so long ago. Yeah. Gosh, it feels like it's been forever. Uh-huh. I barely remember anything about you. Right. So anyways, that does unlock more of the mountain, though. So next, you know, we can now head to Lower Baldy. Which, once oh. again, you know, Mount Baldy is actually, you know, in the same mountain range right next to Snowbird. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, Lower Baldy and then Upper Baldy is, are going to kind of be more of these backcountry areas. Yeah, this is pretty short, but the next video will go through the rest of Snowbird. So uh, join us then.